Hello animal lovers, welcome to the animal kingdom. Earth is full of amazing creatures, big and small. We call them animals. They swim like fish, fly like birds, and even crawl like bugs. But did you know we can divide animals into two groups? These groups are vertebrates and invertebrates. Let's explore. Vertebrates are animals with a backbone. These creatures can be found in various environments from the depths of the oceans to the skies above. Examples of vertebrates include mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and amphibians. You have a backbone too. It's an essential part of your body that provides support and structure. It's called the spine and it runs down your back. The spine is crucial for protecting the spinal cord, which is a bundle of nerves that sends messages between your brain and the rest of your body. The backbone is made up of small bones called vertebrae. These vertebrae are stacked on top of each other, creating a flexible yet strong column that allows for movement and flexibility. Vertebrates are like us in many ways. They share similar body structures and functions, making them fascinating to study and observe. Vertebrates have a skeleton inside their bodies made of bones. This internal framework supports their muscles and organs, enabling them to move efficiently. This skeleton helps them move and gives them their shape. Whether it's a horse galloping across a field or a cat leaping gracefully, their bones play a vital role in their movement. Vertebrates also have a brain that controls their body. The brain is the command center, processing information and coordinating actions. They have senses like sight, which allows them to navigate their environment and find food. Smell, hearing, taste, and touch also play an important role in their survival. These senses help them interact with the world around them, detect danger, and communicate with others. Can you guess some vertebrate animals? Yes, fish are vertebrates. They swim with fins and breathe underwater with gills. Amphibians like frogs and salamanders live both on land and in water. Reptiles like snakes and lizards have scales and lay eggs. Birds have feathers and wings for flying. And of course, mammals like us have hair or fur and give birth to live young. Now let's talk about invertebrates. These fascinating creatures make up a huge part of the animal kingdom. Invertebrates don't have a backbone. Instead, they have other ways to support their bodies. These animals include mollusks, arthropods, annelids, cnidarians, echinoderms, and sponges. Can you imagine not having a backbone? It would be quite a challenge to move around. It would be like trying to stand up straight with a noodle for a spine but invertebrates have adapted perfectly to their environments. Invertebrates are different from us, but fascinating in their own way. They come in a variety of forms and have unique ways of living. Since they don't have bones, many invertebrates have soft bodies. This allows them to move in ways that vertebrates can't. Some have hard outer shells for protection, like crabs and snails. These shells act like armor, keeping them safe from predators. Invertebrates are the largest group of animals on Earth. They make up about 97% of all animal species. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they live everywhere. From the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, invertebrates have found a way to thrive. Their adaptability and diversity are truly remarkable. Whether it's the intricate web of a spider or the colorful display of a coral reef, invertebrates play crucial roles in their ecosystems. So next time you see a tiny insect or a beautiful jellyfish, Remember the incredible world of invertebrates and how they contribute to the balance of nature. The invertebrate world is full of amazing creatures. Insects like butterflies, ants, and beetles are invertebrates. They have six legs and three body parts. Mollusks like snails, clams, and octopuses are amazing invertebrates animals. Some of the invertebrates can fit in almost any place as they don not have bones, and some other can have a hard coverage like starfish. Sea stars, jellyfish, and worms are also invertebrates. They live in the ocean and have unique ways of moving and finding food. Invertebrates are incredible. So vertebrates have backbones and invertebrates don't. Vertebrates include animals like fish, birds, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. Invertebrates, on the other hand, include insects, mollusks, crustaceans, and many more. Both groups are super cool and important to our planet. Vertebrates often get more attention because they are larger and more noticeable, but invertebrates are just as crucial. Vertebrates might seem more familiar because we are vertebrates. We see them in zoos, in our homes as pets, and even in the wild when we go hiking or camping. But guess what? 
There are way more invertebrates in the world than vertebrates. In fact, invertebrates make up about 97% of all animal species on Earth. They are everywhere, playing a vital role in our ecosystem. From pollinating flowers to decomposing organic matter, invertebrates keep our environment healthy and balanced. Whether they have a backbone or not, all animals are fascinating creatures. Each species has unique adaptations and behaviors that make them special. Keep exploring and learning about the animal kingdom. There's always something new to discover, and understanding more about these creatures helps us appreciate the diversity of life on our planet.